Hi, I'm Amanda Langley, and today we're going to be looking at two of Tammy Glenn's paintings, Nola's Finest and Flying Free. Something that sets her paintings apart from others is her use of texture. Texture is the way that something feels, and her paintings actually feel bumpy. Now when you're in a museum, you can't touch them, but you can see how they're raised. We're going to start with Nola's Finest. Do you see how the painting is shiny? That's because she uses oil on her last layer. Now the other layers, which can be up to seven layers thick, are used with gesso. And when she's making her gesso, she mixes it with crushed marble, which makes it really thick. She said it can take her up to six or seven months to make one painting. Do you see how the veins raise up on the horse? That's because she piled the gesso up to give it that texture. You can see that in the eyelashes and on the leather straps, they also have real texture. Let's get where the sun isn't shining quite so brightly on these paintings. On Flying Free, you can already see all the bumps and texture that she used in the rocks and the bushes. All of that was built up using gesso for layers and layers. After it's all done, she puts an underpainting and then she paints finally with her oil. Even on the bird, you can see a little bit of the real texture she put together. See the fine details on the wings? This was based off of a photograph that her son took. It was some of his first experiences with a camera. It's hard to get a picture like that. A lot of paintings are really flat, but they don't have to be. Maybe when you do your next painting, you'll layer with texture first, just like Tammy Glenn does. I want to give a shout out to Jasmine Robinson. That's Tammy Glenn's granddaughter. Hey Jasmine, I hear you like watching the show. And I'll see you next time.